Hey guys, Christina here, and I have part of a Costco grocery haul behind me. Um, there's a lot, so I'm gonna have to do this in bits and pieces. So if you're new here, we are a family of seven, and we homeschool and try to homestead in New Brunswick, Canada. This grocery order was $703 and change. So I'll give you prices as I go through everything, and it's always interesting to see how it compares to where you live. This is, for a couple weeks, some of the things, some of the things will be for a couple months. So I'll kind of show you as I go through. Give you a quick overview. So this is the frozen, cold, and produce. This pizza mozzarella was on sale. So we got that. We normally get marble sliced cheese, but I couldn't see any, so we just got this one. Mangoes and blueberries we were out of. This ginormous, and I mean ginormous, tube of bologna. They didn't have the one we normally get. This was 4.520 kilograms at 5.49 per kilogram. So just under $25. Um, this will get sliced up and we freeze it and we'll just eat it like we'll do a healthier meat sandwich and then one week we'll do this one. So this is going to last us quite a while. This, we used to love this when we were in Alberta, or at least a few of us, like my oldest son and I, the Chipotle black bean burgers. Uh, we hadn't been able to find it, but they have them now, so we grabbed one because we really like those. Out of chicken nuggets, some battered fish that we needed. This feta was on sale. I haven't had it before, so I thought we'd try this one. Three things of Greek yogurt. We use these for reta or um, like our own dressings, uh, tzatziki sauce, things like that. Some mixed yogurt. I dropped it and some fell out. I think we had one casualty from it. <laughs> but this is a 24 times 100 gram pack. I picked up four bananas that will last mm, not even two weeks, but I didn't want to buy too many at once. Romaine, the romaine is still looking pretty sad around these parts, but at least it was available and I think it was $8 if I remember right, so not too bad. So we got two five pound bags of carrots, 10 pound bag of onions. I wanted to get the 50 pound bag, that's what we normally do, but they didn't have any. I also didn't have any big bags of potatoes, so no potatoes today. These were $3.99 for three cucumbers, which is a good price, so I grabbed two of those. So there's six cucumbers, bell peppers. I think that's everything. So I will change up what's on the table here and show you the next thing. Here's an overview of the next batch. So we were completely out of salsa. That's a uh-oh in our family. <laughs> we eat a lot of salsa. So we got four of these. The kids really like these and they were on sale again. The strawberry yogurt pretzels. We were out of pickled almost on our last jar. So we grabbed one of those. I was so excited to see that they have steel cut oats again. It's been a long time. And Costco is just always the best price. This is three kilograms, 6.61 pounds. Organic and gluten free steel cut oats. Then I had never seen these breadcrumbs before. I don't know if I've just missed it, but much cheaper than getting them at Walmart or Superstore. So we picked up those. Those will last us a while. Two things of tortilla chips here. And then we have two different Lay's chips and one covered bridge potato chips. One package of bacon crumbles. I really prefer the other brand. I can't remember the name of it, but this is all they seem to have lately. So they will do. Vanilla. This is um, elderberry vitamins for the kids in this. I just picked up one syrup, although I got three mayos. <laughs> we, I just go through mayo so fast lately. I don't know why, so I got three of them. I picked up three rotisserie chickens. They are just the cheapest way to get chicken right now. We'll have one for dinner tomorrow night, and the other two I will cool down and then debone and like chop the meat up and freeze it for other meals, soups, salads, sandwiches, pasta, whatever. Then I usually do make broth from the bones as well. We're out of cashews. And then I hadn't seen these before there. These are dates and they are already pitted. How much is in here? One kilogram each. So much cheaper than Superstore or Walmart. 
We use these for a breakfast. It's like a berry oat cobbler. It's an uncooked oat and date and coconut and berry meal the kids like. So that's that one. Okay, I think I have one more pile or table's worth to go. Here is an overview of the last few items. Check out this Kleenex tower. After two months, just two months of sickness, we were completely out of Kleenex. So we bought three packages, three cases. We're probably gonna have to get more next month because we still have some runny noses. <laughs> oh, that's just funny. Okay, parchment paper. I primarily use this for baking bread. We needed more. Tape, if you're a homeschooler, you already know. I don't need to tell you why I needed more tape. Toilet paper, because we always need toilet paper. There's seven people in this house. The ciabatta buns. So I've shared lots before about how we buy the frozen ones and it's way more cost effective. But then I had the massive <laughs> dough explosion where the freezer got left open all night and all the dough like just, phew, yeah. So I've just been buying this for right now. I probably will go back when my freezer's a little less full to buying the frozen ones, but for now, this works. Dishwashing tabs or dishwasher tabs. Laundry detergent, we need another one. Two packs of hamburger buns. We are completely out. Same with hot dog buns, we are completely out. So I got two, or the double packs. I just grabbed two things of tortillas because we did have some left. And large Ziploc freezer bags. So the freezer bags and the like cleaning products, household products, tape, as well as the vitamins I showed you before. They all come out of our, not out of our grocery budget, they come out of a different one. But everything else was food, so I'll make sure that I show the division for the totals. But yeah, $703 and change for everything. It was actually less than I thought it was gonna be. How does that compare the prices and the total price to your Costco? I feel like, like I said, it was less than I thought it was gonna be, but it's still not great. But let me know how it compares and if you have any questions, as always, leave them in the comment section down below. Otherwise though, I hope this finds you having a great day. Take care.